Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore. And in this episode, we will primarily look at propagating the Sestrum Nocturnum or the Night Blooming Jessamine. And we will also towards the end look at some important care tips. In India, this is called the Rat Kirani or Nishagandhi. Though different, these names reflect the night blooming characteristic of this plant. The plant belongs to the Sulinaceae family to which broad-spectrum plants like tomato, brinjal, etc. belong. It is a native of West Indies and has been naturalized in many parts of South Asia. The word sestrum stands for jasmine and nocturnum means nocturnal. So the blooms open up during the evenings and the whole garden is filled with an intoxicating scent of honey mixed with jasmine. Now, some people may not like the intense smell and may experience nauseousness and this is majorly due to the fact that this plant contains chlorogenic acid that could be responsible for this undesirable feeling in some people. Others who love it, love it. The night blooming is majorly to attract nocturnal pollinators that get attracted by the perfume as well. Moths and other pollinators use their olfactory senses to either find a mate or food. And in this case, the Nishadan, these nectar-rich blooms. The blooms are greenish-white, again, to show the significance of night in their lives. The colour white reflects moonlight and hence becomes more visible to these night creatures. The leaves are more or less simple and if grown in the ground, the plant becomes a big shrub. This is not a whining plant but has a tendency to grow droopingly. This is one of my oldest plants in the garden. The toxicity of the plant is contested but I would suggest you consider this toxic and not ingest any part of this plant. In some regions in the Americas and Africa, this is considered to be invasive. As far as I know, this is not very invasive in India. It is said to bear fruits but I haven't seen one so far. This is a summer blooming plant and will stop blooming during the cold winter months. Some of its compounds are also used as larvicide to kill some types of mosquito larvae. Now let's look at propagating this plant with stem cuttings. Now take at least 5 to 7 inch long cuttings. The longer the cutting, the better. Now as a ballpark, we can have 3 or 4 leaves intact while removing the other lower leaves. You can additionally cut off the leaves like this to reduce the surface area of the leaf, thereby reducing water loss. Now, take any well-draining potting mix and since I have vermiculite, I am using that. Otherwise, you can use 40% sand, 30% garden soil and 30% compost. Now, the more the cuttings you add, the more would be the success rate. Place it under a sheltered but brightly lit spot. Water the cuttings every day during summer and remember to take the cuttings during the spring to summer months that is from Feb to June. And the cutting can be taken once the plant has finished blooming. This is not a very difficult plant to propagate and in few weeks time it will root up but replant the plant only when you see lush leaves like this. So I had propagated this plant two months ago and it's grown really well. So don't try this at home. I am removing this as is just to show you the root development. Please remove the whole plant with the soil and repot when you do it. Use the same potting mix as stated earlier. Now let's look at some important care tips. Sunlight. So this plant can do well in full sun or brightly lit part sunlight conditions. Preferably the south or the west direction. Pests. I have noticed that when I've placed this under part sun conditions, I have seen more mealy bugs on this, but when it has been under full sun, they have miraculously disappeared. So if mealies are a problem, use neem oil pesticide. Watering. This is a very thirsty plant and may not tolerate extended periods of drought, so water consistently or water when you see the topsoil is dry. Pruning. You can light prune this maybe once in two years, don't over prune. Fertilizing. This can do well without too much fertilizing if you take care of the above care tips. Compost any day would do. Apply it once a month from February to October. 
Cautionary note. If you are sensitive to intense smell, keep it away from your window during the night. I remember once getting a headache because of this intense smell and it is one of my migraine triggers. But when kept away and smelt waftingly, this is your night queen indeed. So with every aroma, you associate a memory. And with this one, I reminisce those days when my grandmother used to take me and my cousins for a walk down the roads of Indiranaga. And we would get this smell and we would all ask her about this plant. So share your memories about plants by commenting below. And with this, we've come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore. And I really hope you've enjoyed this short video on the Sestrum Nocturna. Also, let me tell you about a new feature on the channel where you can be a part of the growth story of this channel. You can monetarily sponsor the videos you think has benefited you the most by clicking on the thanks button below. This is of course voluntary and you can get an animated super thanks with every contribution. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook for further updates. And always remember, to grow slow is to grow well. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, very warm goodbye.